Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Game Maker Super Create Box tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at how to create enemies and make them rage as well. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, the first thing to do is create a new object called Earth Spawner. And we're going to place this object right above where we want our enemies to spawn, which is right here. And these will just spawn uh, random enemies in regular intervals. So first things first, you want to tick the visible to false. And just as a placeholder, just make the sprite uh, uh, the S big enemy. Now in the creative event, drag in some code. And in here, you want to say start alarm. So if, uh, no, alarm 0 equal 50. So the very start of the game, it's going to run the alarm 0 in 50 frames. Now let's go into the alarm zero and add some actions. So we're gonna say here, uh, spawn random enemies. And in here we're gonna say, you can in fact if you want to, say like randomize. And you can say var wave equals um, random um, underscore range and you can say possibly 50 to 80. This just makes sure that the spawn rate is somewhat random. And then you can say instance create XY so you want to put uh, create the enemies so this is creating the enemies and you want to create the enemies in the X and Y position of the spawner. And you can say choose. And we're going to create two enemies. The er small monster. And the er small uh, or big monster, sorry. But we do want this small monster to have a little high chance as we don't want too many big monsters. So we'll add that twice. And that isn't created at the moment, but we'll create that at the end. And now we can call the alarm again with the wave variable. Cool. So let's, I think that's that. And that's pretty much it for the spawner. So let's quickly put that into our room for now. So let's go into O spawner. And let's move that right there. Now let's go and create another object called O enemy. And this will be our parent object for all of our enemies. So in here, we're gonna set the sprite to nothing as this is not gonna be displayed, only used for inheritance. And in the create event, we're gonna design some, uh, define some variables. So the first thing we're gonna define is um, the direction. So let's say init. So the direction is gonna be random. When it jumps out of the um, capsule, the little hole right here, it's going to go either right or left. So to simulate this, say randomize and say dir for direction is choose negative 1 or 1. Negative 1 means left, 1 means right. Alright, cool. And the next few things we have to add is the speed which will say 6 as the default, the H speed and V speed, which is both set to 0, as that will increment during the game, and the gravity to just like the play 1.2, HP maybe around 2 as a default, and the, um, and yeah, I think that's it. Uh, we can say image underscore speed equals 0.4. Now, finally, we, we want to define some rage variables. So in the room right here, if it, if it jumps into this hole right there, the enemy will turn red and its speed will increase. So to simulate this, we're going to add two more variables called rage equal false. Actually, three more variables. Uh, rage speed and make that 10. And rage sprite, which um, we'll just say s small 
Monster Rage. What's that called again? S Rage. S Rage Small Enemy. Okay. Cool. So now we've got that done. And in the step event, we're going to put all of our main behavioral attributes. So the first thing we're going to do is, this is going to be called Rage Mode. So we're going to say that if the enemy, if our Y position is bigger or equal than the room height. This is saying that if it goes out of the room, um, down here, okay, then we're going to set his X position to O spawner. Dot x so bring that back to the top spawner and the same thing for the y position and set the rage variable to true and now we can say if rage oops if rage is equal to true then we can do something that applies to its rage behavior say so speed is not equals to rage speed. The sprite index is now changed to um, the rage sprite, and then you say rage equals false. Cool. Now let's get out of there. And the next, let's try another code block here, and this is going to be for our scaling. So if direction equal negative one then image x scale equal negative one so if it's left then flip it um else image x scale equal one now in the original super create box how it works is that the enemies come down and whenever they hit the wall it will just Go the other direction. That's pretty much all there is to this enemy, simple enemy AI. So we're going to have a collision up code block and say H, H speed equals der time speed. Okay, so if we're going left, then the speed will be negative. If we're going right, the speed will be positive. And then V speed plus equals graph. Okay, now let's do the horizontal H collisions. Now we can just actually just copy this from our player object movement. It's very similar. Go to our horizontal collisions. Grab this code. Control C that. And put that right here. Okay. And there's one thing that we need to change, and that's um, dir times equals negative one. This just flips the direction. Flips dir. Okay, now let's do the exact same for the uh, vertical collisions. Let's go back to here, check out the vertical collisions, and copy that. Uh, where's that? Oops, did I? No. Cool. So that's it for that. And the final thing, that final code block, is to do with health. So it's basically if HP is smaller or equal than zero, then instance destroy. What's it? Uh, yeah. Okay, I think that's it for our enemy parent. And now let's create the actual enemy. So, O, small, um, I think it's small monster. What did I call it before? Let's go to about enemy, no, O spawner, O small monster, that's right. And make the sprite a small enemy. And in the create event here, 
we're going to change a couple of variables around. Um, the first one is rage. Sprite is the S rage small enemy. And the rage speed is equal to 10. Be sure to inherit the event right here so that um, only these two variables will be overridden. And make the parent the O enemy. Duplicate that and call this O small uh, big monster and go here. And for the big one, we want to change even more things. So the rage speed will decrease out to eight. Make this big. And we also change the speed variable to four because we want it to be slower as it is a bigger object. And the HP is a bit bigger three. Cool. Uh, now let's now let's actually play the game here and see how this runs. We've, we've programmed all the enemies, the spawners, and if we take a look now, there we go. You can see um, now we can't shoot them at the moment, but that's because we haven't implemented that. But you can see they can walk around, and if they hit the bottom, they'll come back um, really. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's let's try this again. So that this guy here is walking down, and there we go. See, he goes red. Cool. And this can just keep on going. It's gonna just faster. And yeah. All right. Now there's one thing that let's add now is the bullet collision with the um, enemy. Now the thing is, this is really easy to implement considering that in the creator event, we've already uh, defined the damage variable, which is put in our global array. So in the collision with the enemy, all we're going to say is other dot HP minus equals damage. That's it. All right. And we, we can also say that if the player collides with the enemy, then we can just say game restart. Obviously, you can add some other thing if you like, like a high score system, which I may be doing in the future if you want it. But um, yep. Okay, so now let's just play the game properly. So we can just shoot them down. Now there's no explosion at the moment, but I didn't add that. But yeah, so you can see here it's really cool. Pew pew. Oh, and that's another thing. Um, when the enemy, when the bullet collides with the enemy, make sure to also destroy the bullet. That way, it won't. Yeah, it's more realistic in a sense. All right, cool. So now I can move around. Yeah, there we go. Takes me a couple of hits. If I have the pistol, it's me two hits. One, two, oh no, three. And this big gun takes me much longer because my damage is much lower. So anyway, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching this series. I hope you guys learn a lot, and I will be leaving the source code in the description box if you would like to check the program out for yourself. I don't think I'll include the sprites though because I'm using that in actually. A commercial project. In fact, I did in fact create a super create box light game. It's not it's not the exact same, but it's quite different. And I might doing a little video on that tomorrow. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. I have saw all of your comments on the previous video, and I might and I will take them into consideration. But for now, this is it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. To enjoy this video, um, please leave a like.